All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So part three of the five year anniversary is right around the corner. In fact, we're only about a day, day and a half away. So in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick preview of all the new events and other stuff we can expect to see once this thing starts to get you guys fully ready. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right into it and see what's going on. Now, first things first, we will be getting a new special anniversary movie for part three, just like in part one and part two. And unfortunately, they didn't link the actual video here, so I can't show you guys right now, but it's okay because everybody will be able to watch it once part three starts. So I guess we'll just keep that a surprise for now. So that's the first thing. And then after that, we have some new anniversary missions, which is standard, no surprises there, but there is one mission in particular that is gonna be very exciting to a lot of people. Actually, everybody should be excited about this. This one right here. Clear any stage five times for a gold Hercule statue, as well as the final guaranteed LR ticket for the 55 unit multi. There it is, guys. There you go. The last ticket, ticket number 55, that people have been asking me about every single day in my DMs, on uh, my video comments, on my stream comments, uh, basically anywhere people can directly contact me. I've gotten questions about it. And I know, I know it sounds like I'm exaggerating, right? But I'm really not, man. I've literally been asked hundreds of times where this final ticket is over the last two weeks so hopefully that answers everybody's questions hopefully people will stop asking there you go guys ticket number 55 now if you have less than 54 tickets right now and this one isn't going to be your last one then that means you probably missed a few in part one and part two which is okay it's not a huge deal you will still be able to get the full 55 just go watch my video from a couple weeks ago, link above my head, where I did a full breakdown of how to collect all 55 tickets. That video should definitely help you out. And uh, there you go, guys. That is the final ticket. Good luck in all your summons. Hopefully everybody gets, you know, the LR that they want or possibly multiple LRs. Good luck, guys. Oh, feel free to let me know in the comments after you do your multi what you got, okay? So that's the last ticket. And of course, there's also some other missions for some other good stuff, like some orbs, some copies of the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, um, Awakening Medals, some stones, of course. Oh, so for completing all the anniversary missions, we get 20 stones as well as a sticker, which is pretty awesome. And uh, after that, we have a new, I like to call these community campaigns, because essentially, we have to work together as a community to fulfill some kind of objective. And in this case, we have to clear the Extreme Z area event for the free to play LR Goku Black a certain amount of times to basically complete all these steps, get some stones, get some training items, some orbs, all that good stuff, as well as a new wallpaper here. This Zamasu versus Vegeta wallpaper, which is pretty freaking sick. I mean, it's not as cool, in my opinion, as the Gogeta versus Broly one, but it's still pretty dope. Okay, so new wallpaper right there up for grabs as well as 5, 10, 15 Dragon Stones. Okay, after that, we have the Extreme Z area event available for the LR Goku Black or LR Zamasu bracket Goku Black. And uh, we'll finally be able to Extreme Z awaken him, bring him to his full potential. And uh, this is officially going to be the first LR Extreme Z Awakening. Pretty freaking stoked. He's already awesome without the easy A. If you guys missed the showcase, go check it out. Link above my head once again. And like I said, he's already really, really impressive without the Extreme Z Awakening. But with the Extreme Z Awakening, he becomes that much better. So I can't wait for this. Definitely going to be streaming it. Make sure you guys tune in if you have the time. And uh, from there, we have a new stage for the Infinite Dragon Ball History stage and probably some of these golden or special weekend missions. So that pretty much does it for part three of the anniversary. Now we will do a closer look here at the actual events we talked about. So let's start here with 
the Infinite Dragon Ball History stage, and the theme for this one is going to be the Future Trunks Saga of uh, Dragon Ball Super. There's going to be 9 enemies in total. We're starting here with the base Trunks here, and then Goku Black, and then Zamasu and Rose, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Trunks and Mai, Fusion Zamasu, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta or Vegito Blue, and then finally Super Saiyan Trunks. Now along the way, except for the Trunks here, everybody else is going to be immune to stun as well as immune to having their super attack sealed. And then from the Rose and Zamasu on, you also can't lower their attack and they also lock your rotation. This one specifically will lock your rotation, which is really, really annoying. I hate that, but it is what it is. This Trunks and Mai here can also stun you. This uh, Zamasu will be able to perform up to two super attacks in a turn and also will regenerate HP. So he heals himself, which obviously is also another really annoying mechanic of bosses, but you know, it does make things somewhat more interesting, so I don't mind it too much. And uh, this Vegito Blue here can also evade attacks, so he can dodge your attacks, and he can also disable, or he also does disable your team's evasion. So if you have units like UI Goku, or Whis, or anybody else that can dodge, this guy will disable that, okay? So there you go. Oh, also these three guys will also not allow you to lower their defense either. So those are the bosses. Definitely expecting this one to be you know, somewhat challenging. Um, I'm not sure if it's as hard as this Dragon Ball Super Broly one, because this one is pretty damn tough. And if I remember correctly, the Trunk Saga one on JP when I played it wasn't as difficult, but still expect, you know, somewhat of a challenge. So be ready, try to bring some good defensive units, some stackers if you can. And if you use the same strategy as you normally do, you should be okay. So that's the new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history as far as the missions go. Standard stuff, you get one stone or a couple stones as you go through the different enemies. And then you get five stones in total for completing the entire stage. And then you also get two stones for completing with three or more Patara characters. Two stones for completing with three or more Time Travelers characters. And finally, another stone and an Elder Kai for completing all the missions. And in total, you're looking at 30 Dragon Stones if you are able to complete every single mission related to this stage. So there you go, guys. New stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history. Let's move on to the Extreme Z area event for the Goku Black. Overall, it's not too different from the other Extreme Z areas we've seen so far. So the boss is going to be as a Masu that has two different phases. He's going to be dropping the medals, of course, as well as some training items when you beat him. And uh, this stage will only become available after you clear all the stages of the Zero Mortals Plan story event. So if you guys don't get this event immediately when part 3 starts, don't freak out. It might just mean you didn't fulfill this condition yet. So go back to the story event, check that you beat every single stage on every difficulty, and uh, you should be able to unlock this event here. And of course, just like every other Extreme Z area event before this, there is a limited pool of characters you can build a team from to take on the event. So these are all the characters right here. And uh, this Goku Black is of course mandatory. He has to be on your team, but otherwise you're free to choose any of the other characters here to build your team around. Um, as far as the free to play characters go, there is Goku Black. There is the LR Vegito Blue. Uh, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, of course, everybody should have. And uh, I think there's also a few others here. This Trunks is free to play. These two guys are free to play as well, even though they're not the greatest. So yeah, six in total. It is definitely possible to build a free to play team, even though I wish there would have been more options. But uh, a lot of these other guys, like the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, uh, Super Saiyan Trunks here, uh, Zamasu and so on and so forth. These guys are all pretty common, so most people should be able to build a solid team to take on this event. Okay, so that's the pool right there. And uh, as far as how many medals you need to Extreme Z Awaken the LR Goku Black fully, like take do all the steps, it's going to take 45 of these rainbow medals. And uh, if you guys want a full guide for how to max out the LR Goku Black, from Super Attack 1 to Super Attack 25 completely free without using any Kai's and go ahead and check out my guide from once again a couple weeks ago. I forgot exactly when but it's been a while. Go check it out. That video should help 
a lot of people that just don't want to use any Kai's want to, you know, be smart about their Kai usage. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That is the Extreme Z area event. Now, of course, we have to check out the details for this Extreme Z Awakened LR Goku Black. For anybody that has already seen the details from one of my previous videos, feel free to just skip this part. But uh, if you guys didn't, and this is your first time seeing them, then his leader skill is going to be Time Traveler's Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 100%, his 12 key super causes colossal damage and lowers Attack and Defense, 18 key super raises Attack and Defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage, his passive is going to be Attack and Defense plus 59% key plus 1, with each attack received up to 6, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when facing 2 or more enemies, and plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each final blow delivered up to 59%. Since each of these additional attack and defense plus 20% per final blow is calculated separately, he's actually getting a total boost of 152.81% attack and defense after defeating three enemies. And like I said, there's three different steps for the Extreme Z Awakening, 10 medals for the first step, 15 for the second, and 20 for the third, for a grand total of 45 medals. And everything else does stay the same, of course, same links, same categories, um, and I believe his stats also stay exactly the same. So the main changes, of course, are these details right here, as well as his super attack going up to a maximum of 25 compared to 20 before. Um, so there you go, guys. That is the Extreme Z Awakened LR Goku Black. He's going to be very, very good, especially considering how good he was already before the EZA. So stay tuned for a showcase of that as soon as I possibly can get it out to you. And uh, before we go, let's take a quick look at this ticket, guaranteed LR ticket banner. Um, so as far as the featured characters go, they're not the greatest. I mean, there's some really good ones in there, actually. Like these two with the Extreme Z Awakenings are extremely good. Um, Trunks and Vegeta as well, really good supports. And uh, yeah, there's some good stuff in the pool. I'm not going to say it's, it's garbage, but the main thing that everybody cares about, of course, are the featured LRs. So, I mean, not featured LRs, but like the LRs you can get from this banner. And uh, they're all here. There's a total of 20 LRs available for grabs. And uh, any one of these can be your guaranteed LR from the multi. So yeah, there's a lot of good units here. We got the LR Androids, uh, Tech Broly, Kellen Khalifa, Goku and Frieza, LR Godku, Full Power Frieza, and so on and so forth. I mean, just because I didn't say their names doesn't mean they're not good. But the ones I mentioned are definitely the ones that I personally would be the most excited to pull. And uh, they're probably the best ones here, but even the older ones like the Goku Black here, uh, LR Gohan, Majin Vegeta, you know, LR Trunks, they're still good units, but definitely somewhat outdated in some ways and not as impressive as the newer LRs. But if you're a newer player and you're missing a lot of units still, then any of these ones would be a good pull. And really, you can't complain about getting a free LR, right? So like I said, good luck in your summons. Hopefully you all get the LRs that you want, and maybe even multiple LRs in the same multi. And that should do it guys for today's video. Um, there might be some other stuff that we get as a surprise that JP never got, which obviously I don't know about so I can't really cover in this video, but those are the main things that all global players should be able to expect for this upcoming third part, third and final part to our five year anniversary. I gotta say, man, at least for me personally, it was a really, really good anniversary. Uh, I would say, I would say the best one so far. I mean, you can't argue with the polls. I've had the summons, I had the luck I've had for this anniversary, and uh, I've just had a lot of fun, you know, making content for you guys and covering all this stuff. For anybody out there that got shafted really badly, I'm sorry. Hopefully your luck turns around. I mean, I've definitely been there, so I feel you. But uh, yeah, it's been a great time. And I appreciate you guys for sharing this experience with me. Okay, so that's going to be the video. That is part three. That's going to be a wrap for the anniversary once this is over. Part three will officially end on August 10th, which is also when the anniversary ends. And then we'll most likely go into a mini celebration in the middle of August and then 
a download celebration at the end. So a lot of stuff still coming, a lot of big things. Don't be sad just because the anniversary is over because this is really the first half of the craziness. The download celebration is the second half. So uh, of course, you guys can rest assured, I'll keep you guys updated with all the info about that as soon as we get it. But uh, that's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.